get ready with me and I'm gonna tell you all the things that I hate about pregnancy. For as much as I really wanted a baby and we tried for three years, I have not been loving pregnancy literally at all. Not really one thing that I enjoy about it. And that's okay. I said that the other day on my stories and all these people are like, you should be grateful, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'm grateful, but that doesn't mean that I have to love it. Just because you want something doesn't mean that you should just love it and you have to enjoy it and all these things. Some things are really hard that you want and doesn't mean you have to love it the whole time. So with my job, basically my entire job revolves around my body and being in shape and being really active. And I also have like multiple businesses. So being really busy throughout the day is kind of just all I've known for like 10 years. So now that I am entering my third trimester, it is really slowing me down and I'm getting really frustrated. Like I cried three times yesterday because I couldn't get off the couch fast enough. I couldn't get off the couch, one of them. And the other one, I was just tired and my feet hurt and I just had a full blown breakdown. Next, if you look pregnant or people know that you're pregnant, they all of a sudden feel like they can ask you all these personal questions. And it's like usually stuff you don't want to talk about. Like lately, the thing that's been really irritating me is people are like, how much weight have you gained in your pregnancy? And like, I understand people aren't meaning it in like a rude way, but like, I, I like, it's just none of your business. This mostly comes from older generations. I don't think any of my friends have ever asked me that or anybody like my age group, but I just think like number one, it doesn't matter, doesn't make a difference. And I know you're curious, but like you wouldn't ask me that if I wasn't pregnant. So why does it matter now? On top of that, everybody asks you all this crazy stuff that you like don't know the answers to. What kind of birth is your, what's your, what's your birth plan? Uh, what What's the gender? What do you want it to be? And if you want it to be something and it's not, you're lot, not allowed to like be upset at all. Like I had a lot of gender disappointment um, back when we found out it was a boy. I'm so, so happy now, but like, people got mad at me because all they do is ask you when you get pregnant what do you think it's going to be what do you want it to be and then when you say what you want it to be and then it doesn't turn out to be that you're not allowed to be upset on top of all of that not to mention your hormones are crazy you never know what you're going to wake up and be upset about or sad about happy about every day is like completely different and it's like, I just don't love that. I love very much my consistent hormones and all that. And every day is just, we'll call it a journey. Something else I really don't love is how much my body has changed. And not that I'm like mad that I'm growing a baby, but like things change in places you were not expecting. And I just like can't believe some of the stuff that has happened that like nobody tells you about. And I'm like finding myself Googling all these things to make sure that it's normal. <laughs> and with that, I work out every day. I work really hard to have a very in shape body because it's how I just feel the best. And the fact that I do that now and it's like, I'm just getting bigger every day is very hard to wrap my head around because it's something you can't control and you have to let happen but it's very hard because i'm a control freak and i want to be in control of like everything something else i really hate is that as soon as someone finds out that you're pregnant or you're obviously pregnant and you're walking around outside they'll be like oh just wait you think you're tired now wait till the baby comes you're never gonna get sleep again like i'm sorry that you had a bad experience being a mom but like not everybody will so like the little just weights and the negative comments about being a parent or having a baby is just not necessary. And like, if that's all you have to say about being a parent, then why did you have kids? Cause like, I don't think it's bad for everybody. And if, even if it is, it's not really like, you don't need to share. Which leads me to my next point, all of the unwanted advice that I did not ask for. I did not literally say anything and people just like to send you all the advice and if you don't take it or you don't agree it's like you're wrong a couple other things that i'm having a hard time with is that i feel like i don't know if it's my generation or social media but i feel like i have to have a party for everything like I had a gender reveal party, which I was really happy about because I don't think I would have wanted to find that stuff out by myself, like over the phone. I wanted it to be kind of be like a big deal, but like a baby shower, I kind of would have been fine without having, but you just also feel this guilt that like, oh, well, if you don't have one, it's your first baby, like you'll never be able to have that time again. And like, you should do it. So I don't know. And it just ends up 
be more things that I have to plan when I'm already like getting a baby room ready and getting all this other stuff ready. So it's kind of like just more stuff to add to your plate, which I understand it's celebrating and you actually don't have to do it, but you kind of feel like you have to. On that note, I'm going to Prego Expo today. I got invited. It'll be really cool to see all the different like vendors. It's very overwhelming because there's so many products out there and you don't know like who's lying. You can't see any of it in person. So I'm excited to meet a lot of brands and get to check out all the products. Hopefully it'll help me like kind of wrap up my to-do list for baby stuff that I still need. Um, but I'll do another video on all the things that I do love about pregnancy. It's a very short list, but this list was much, was much longer. Um, let's not forget that I have brain fog and I can't remember anything either, which is really frustrating. Um, but either way, I'm still excited to have a baby. Doesn't mean I have to enjoy the ride. I will enjoy the baby when he's here, <laughs> but doesn't mean that I have to love growing him because it's very frustrating.